Hello, good evening everyone. My name is Charlene Francois from Chalk Hill Community Radio and today I have with me the beautiful Natasha. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. It's been a bit of a, a little bit of a stressful day I must say, you know, but it's fine. I'm fine. It's always good to be honest. You know, sometimes when we say, oh, how are you? We always say, oh, I'm fine. But sometimes you're not fine. Sometimes it's good to say, oh, you know, I'm a bit tired today. You know, it's Honest. Absolutely. That's what, it is okay not to be okay. We just do you. our best. Yeah, yes. And you know, that's what mental health is all about. That's why I like to talk about health, mental health, and just being honest about your health and well being, you know? Absolutely. Yes. So please tell me, Natasha, you do a lot of things. You do creativity, like in terms of like fashion. You're also, uh, um, you know, you focus on your health and you are a, what is it called? I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. Yes, in the past I did music. I work for charity. That's the place we met the first, yeah, remember? Yes. That was fun. That was fun. And I think everyone in their life should work within a charity sector because it is rewarding. So clinical hypnotherapy allows you to see what you don't allow yourself to see. Okay. So... You know, sometimes you drive a car mm -hmm. and you're thinking of something, music is playing and right. you just miss the left turning. Okay. And then that moment, you know, when you're in your world, that is trance state, that is a hypnotic state, which each one of us go in and out of there many times. So I'm driving, but I'm not focusing on Correct. my destination. Because you're driving, your subconscious already knows how to drive. Right. So your mind can be at rest and you can listen to music, you can look around and you know sometimes you miss the turning and you saw I missed it, oh, you know, because right, yeah, you were yeah. thinking of something else mm -hmm. because your mind already knows how to drive a car. Yeah. So that is what your subconscious knows. Your subconscious knows everything. Mm -hmm. And clinical hypnotherapy, this kind of therapy, opens your subconscious mind for your better self. Mm -hmm. And it's also all so kinds of anxiety problems. It can be used in medicinal purposes. If someone, say, wants to go to a dentist and doesn't mm -hmm. like medicine, you can use clinical hypnotherapy. Also mm -hmm. childbirth. So it's an interesting field. So it's all natural? Yeah, absolutely. All just the power of the word and positive suggestion. So please give me an example. So I'm your patient, for example. Um, I come to one of your sessions. Please tell me, like, if you can, in detail, what happens? What's the first, what's the first protocol? So the protocol would be, you come and say, hello, Shirley. Yeah. We would talk about reasons, mm -hmm. reasonable behind why you are here, why did you come to see me, yeah. which is always very private. And after you tell me all of that, I would find that script and I would find that way of how to help you because every single problem has got a different script, say a hypnotic script for each problem. Mm -hmm. And then probably you can be, you can have eyes open, you can have eyes closed, you can lie down, it's entirely up to you. And it lasts 30 to 60 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to ask you, okay, how long does it last? Yes. In terms of pricing? Just, All it varies. Yeah. You have hypnotherapists who charge anything from 80 upwards. Okay. It's 180, some charge 160, 120, depends on the area they're at, on the expertise. Mm -hmm. You know, I have 20 years, I'm a hypnotherapist. So wow, I have the, 20 yes, years? Yes. Wow. Yes. And um, from what ages do you do? Uh, any ages, really, okay. on the consent of the parents. It's not harmful at all. Mm -hmm. The worst thing that can happen in hypnotherapy, you just fall asleep and you just wake up. But it is fantastic therapy. And it's, you know, one of those things, if you go to a doctor, for example, yeah. and I say to my doctor, oh, God, look at this. And doctor looks at me and says, oh, my God, what is that on your finger? And he says, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, it's really bad. So that feeling that you would go home with is terrifying. But you can have another scenario, you go to your doctor and you say, oh, look at this. Oh, don't worry, just I'll give you this cream mm -hmm. and it's all all right. And your mindset walking out will be totally different. So it's a very powerful tool, you know, like human words, human touch. I think those are the most powerful emotions. Okay. So this therapy is therapy with words and positive suggestions. So basically, the therapists like me, hypnotherapists, they don't help you. You help yourself. Mm -hmm. We are just the tool to guide you how to find all that, that you're holding inside to okay. come out again. So it could be stress, anxiety, maybe you're grieving as Absolutely. Well. Okay. It can be, you know, for soul, just PTDS, I treat a lot of post-traumatic stress oh, disorders. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, I do volunteer for that every day. And I'm a therapist who do volunteering services every day for an hour for all those people in need. If somebody is in any kind of despair, they can always ring me and I will talk to them. Oh, I love that. And if you wanted to find you on um, your social media platforms or um, if, in terms of the business name, how do you get in contact? NM Curative. It's NM Curative and I'm usually on Instagram. Please spell it for me, please. 
N M C U R I T I V E. Another thing I was going to ask you actually is are there any Croatian shops here in London? Uh, there is one in Borough Market. There is a Borough Market shop and it's Croatian food, wine, olive oil, cheeses, uh, things yeah, like that. Right, it's yeah. quite nice. It's worth yeah. having a look into yeah. because it's really nice. It's nice For those who never tried Croatian food, Borough Market, great shop you can get with that. That's nice, yeah. yeah. It's nice to explore, you know. Absolutely. You're based in Northwest London, is that yes, correct? Yes, okay. Northwest too, absolutely. Whereabouts in Northwest London? Uh, Wilsdon Green. Okay, so if someone wanted to come to one of your sessions, yes. is that where it would be based? Absolutely, and then I would send them a pin, private pin, to mm -hmm. the address because therapy is kind of private, so they get the pin of the day. Yes. But every day for all of those who need the therapy, don't be shy. Uh, my phone number is always open, and every day, Monday to Friday, I do from two to three every afternoon, an hour free for people who would like to know about therapy that I do, who are in need of therapy and they can't afford it. So they have an hour free. Oh, you do that? Absolutely, every day. That's beautiful. Yes. Wow. Well, you yes. know, not everything in life is free, guys. Absolutely. So I would most definitely, you know, take the opportunity if you can and um, take advantage of that. And so just um, remind us that on Instagram, they can contact you on there. NM Curative, which is NM on the slash C-U-R-A-T-I-V-E, NM Curative. Tell me why you believe in clinical hypnotherapy so much, because I know you told me briefly that when you were younger, you were in the war, right? Your yes. country was in the war. Yes. So that obviously you brought on stress and post-traumatic post stress disorder. Post -traumatic stress yes. disorder. So can you please tell me um, what you did in order to um, heal yourself? So what happened to me, I was in the Primrose Hill with the friends fireworks party as you go when you're young. Mm -hmm. And this big, magnificent fireworks started and I just lost it in my mind. And I just thought I'm back, I'm back there, I'm in the war. And nobody could have told me otherwise. Oh. And I ran all the way, I remember, from Primrose Hill home. Mm -hmm. And I had a boyfriend at the time and he was talking to me. But I wanted to tell everybody I'm okay, but I couldn't speak. And I just kind of closed myself in, and it was just, I never, it was horrendous experience. Mm -hmm. And I never believed, though it won't happen to me, post traumatic stress disorder doesn't exist, you know, when you're young, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. So I went to my doctor, I went to psychotherapy, I went to all of these places. And then I was on the metro train, and I'm just reading this, you know, adverts about hypnotherapy. It was something that just drove me in, and I called this woman, and it's her Julia, was her name, and uh, she is, uh, she was at the time a famous hypnotherapist in Harley Street. Mm -hmm. And I just went there and she asked me about my problem and that was it. And I had a session with her, one session, and I never feared fireworks again. Wow. And that never reoccurred with me again. And when I seen what she did, I wanted to know more about it. And mm -hmm. that's when I decided to study. And I have a diploma in clinical hypnotherapy. Yeah. I'm in the Association of Clinical Hypnotherapists and I really enjoy it. And guys, it is fantastic. It is positive energy. It's a positive therapy. All this that Paul McKenna does, that is kind of illegal in clinical hypnotherapy. And what we do is just fantastic. And in your lifetime, everyone should, should try it at least once. Yeah, there you go. You know, Natasha has just spoken about it and it's just proved that it's evident that it just works, you know. Yes. Natasha was at a party, she heard a, a loud noise like a yes. firework. It then I it was young at the time. And, young, it, yes. you know, and it triggered um, back memories of, of when she was in the war, yes. back home in Croatia. So obviously she's now gone to a, a clinical hypnotherapist. Who oh, helped? had a session. How many sessions? Only one. Just that one yes. session, guys, and it healed her. Totally. You know, you were yes. able to speak because of, yes. and obviously by you not speaking before, because that was due to shock. Yes. You know, when you you just literally yes. physical, like mute. It's kind of you just you just mute. So shot, you you have this fear speak. inside. You just kind of overcome this fear. Yeah. And you can't get break free. Yeah. And when that happens, it's kind of just petrifying. Mm. And I thought I'm going to stay like that, always in that fear. And this lady helped me, clinical hypnotherapist helped. Wow. And that's the reason that I'm one now. Mm -hmm. Now, thank you for sharing that story. Like, thank you, you for sharing me. You don't have to share that with us, you know. That can bring up a lot of emotions. It's okay, I can share. I like sharing. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. All right, everyone. Well, this is the Health, Talent and Fashion Show. My Absolutely. Name is, <laughs> my name is Charlene Francois. I love to speak about health. I love to speak about talent. I love to speak about fashion, you know, uh, and most importantly, mental and physical health. I think it's so important because, you know, I want to be able to be a model and enjoy fashion and enjoy all of the things I like to do. 
if my mental health was affected and my physical health was, was affected in a sense that you know I, I felt really sad and I was really feeling down depressed so um you know I think it's really pivotal that we all speak about our mental health that we, we are all honest when we say oh, how are you yes. and we say oh, today I'm not so good I feel a bit stressed don't just say I'm fine because if you're not fine why would you say you're fine so, you know like yes I agree I think sometimes just be honest that's all mm-hmm. I'm saying you know but anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you do give Natasha a follow. I, I have tagged her Instagram and um, you know the name of her business as well. Thank you. And yeah, guys, look after yourselves. And most importantly, look after your bonnet. Doesn't Natasha have a beautiful bonnet? Look at those curls, guys. Thank those you. And it's nice and thick as well. <laughs> You're a beautiful hair. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye, y'all.